And we're back. Hey, everybody. Nuclear Throne. We lost our previous gameplay. Yeah, it crashed. Us. Eyes, eyes is it, gone. It was, My beautiful eyes. It was, was weird, gone. too, because we we paused the game, we stepped away, and like two minutes later it crashed, and we were like, what? We didn't even do anything. It's so sad. But I guess they still have some kinks to work out. It could even be like a game maker kind of artifact. Who knows? It's, it's, oh, whatever. Uh, so it I'm is gonna, what it is. It's, I'm going to pick eyes back up because I was enjoying that. Yeah, okay. We're just going to go for Throne Butt as soon as possible because that was amazing. Throne Butt. All right. I'm just going to go around murdering things as fast as possible. See, I feel like small, or like game crashing bugs like what we encountered for a game like this isn't the worst thing in the world. Like, it still sucks, right? But like, there's such fast replay happening on, in, on the game that... You know, it's sort of like a no harm, no foul kind of thing. Mm -hmm, yeah. I imagine it's really awful, though, if you're one of the players that <laughs> can go Oops. through cycles. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Because then that's like worst case scenario. You're on cycle like 98, about to beat a world record, and then the game crashes, and it's just like, no, <laughs> but I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out something I just I just did. I, I was shooting this revolver and then quickly switched to the battle rifle. Yeah. So the switch weapons, you press the space bar. It was that fast that I was able to just like quickly switch my weapons around hmm. uh, and then immediately shoot back that people might have actually been a little confused initially at what a like how I was able to do that. Slugger. I like shoot slugger. shotgun shells and like at pistol range. It's, it's a beautiful gun. Uh, yeah, we'll keep with it even though it's probably bad ammo wise. Ammo's, ammo's kind of a deal at the beginning, or kind of like not as long as you're using revolver, or, uh, revolver mean, ammo's, ammunition. Ammo's always a deal, but yeah, I mean, like, because you haven't picked up a lot of ammo early game, mm -hmm. then it's really easy to pick up a gun that you don't have ammo for. Oh. That's a good one, man. No throne butt, but, you know. Most hits become... Yeah, I can't, I'm not passing up on the glands this time. Are you looking for me already? Ah, ah. So ah. okay, that and that's that's the like time police people, right? Uh, inter, uh, inter. Ah, screw you. <laughs> I watched that happen slowly, and I wanted to be like, nobody look out, and it just like booped you, and yeah, that was the end of that. That is kind of funny with the larva, though. It just kind of booped you. <laughs> Little boops. Boop. All right, good. And, all right, all right, all right, all right. But yeah, so okay, what did you yeah. do to to cause the like space police to? I don't. I mean, it, granted, that is actually the story in general as they're looking for you. I'm not really, oh, really? sure. Yeah, because you're really looking sure for why. the throne. I mean, you're only killing bandits, right? So bandits far, and mongols. But I mean, you are looking for the throne, and that alone is good enough reason. I only have like ten shots left on this. Were, weren't there some comics written? about or for this game. I don't know if they were made by the developers or if they're like... Uh, I mean, there's been a few games here and there that have done it. I don't know if Nuclear Own was one of them. Yeah, I don't know. I feel ah! like there's a little bit of background lore um, kind of out there on the internet somewhere. Come here. Give me those rats. Give me the... Yeah. Uh, uh, no cigar. No rats. I, I got nothing. I'm just going to be clever about it. And You're not it? Uh, there's probably some little worm or something I have to get. So, oh. what... Do you think, um, okay, let me rephrase that. <laughs> what? Why did it appear here? Okay, what's up? How would you have felt about Nuclear Throne if there was, like, a little mini-map that show you where the enemies were? I don't know if it would take too much away. Um, I mean, it would certainly but... remove any element of surprise about, like... You know, if there are any clusters. What it would do, especially if it showed items, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go straight for that item. Ooh, okay, every that's time. fair. And then that kind of, that would ruin the field. The, like, like, oh, I don't know what's going to be around this corner. Do you think it would just sort of be like a redundant feature? Like, it doesn't really do anything other than, like, show you the locations of things, but it's like, I was already going to go over there anyway, sort of, sort of thing. Hmm. I wonder if that was their question about it, too. Because, like, yeah. even as a designer, I would have been like, well, maybe we can make that a special ability. But then I, I imagine maybe most players would see that and be like, I'd much rather regenerate health than see, have a mini-map because I'm still going to be fighting these things. Yeah, I, uh, it, yeah, it's also nice not actually taking up that, that portion of the screen so I can just see everything. That's true. Sometimes yeah. that matters, being able to see those shots coming at you in that split second. And, and mini-maps 
tend to require a decent bit of screen real estate because if it's too small, and what's then the it, point, what's of, it? The point <laughs> yeah. of it? Yeah. Ah, ah, get away from me. You explode. Ah. Wow, narrowly evaded. That wasn't even. I can't move. Did. Uh, did. Did, did, did the controller just mess up, or what just happened there? I don't know. If that happens again, though, we'll, uh, there it is. Pause. Yeah, pause. There we go. We're gonna Pausing. pause real quick. All right, we're I back. I knew. I knew. Like when we would start. Oh god, low shield. Oh, low shells. You knew as soon as we would start, you would take damage. Yep. Well, yeah. Well, do better, mo better. Do better, mo better. Hey, what you doing over there? Oh, nothing. Just chilling. Ah, oh, why'd you do that? You know, I use that phrase a lot on the show recently, or lately. Well, it's because that, that's but what like, happened with the freaking Cujo. He's like, oh, you sound like Chris. Do better move. I'm like, no, that's that's, <laughs> that's that's me. That was, you know, whatever. It's been your phrase, though, for for like a year, years, years now. Yes. Ah, ah. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think at the end of the last stage, too, or not at the end of it, but you, at one point, ah. you had, you were down to like four health. Boom. You recovered that pretty quick. All right. Flame thrower. Ooh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't have much ammo for it, so I've got to... Do you think they've changed... I mean, they're probably constantly tweaking drop rates for uh, items and health packs and stuff. Oh, most likely, yeah. But, I mean, how frequently have do you think we've been seeing health drops thus far? I feel like it's been decent, at least. Um, Ooh. it only happens when you're injured, so a health drop will never show up if you're not. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Ah, fire. <laughs> even if, even like, at the end of a boss battle, for for example, because they always tend to drop health packs. Uh, you're always hurt. I mean, that's true. Do you think they drop, like, a better gun then, if, if you haven't taken damage? It seems like a uh, well, if you thing remember, to do. actually, the first time we just fought that the the, the dog. Oh my! Got to kill everything there. Uh, if you remember the the dog, the first time we fought the dog just a bit ago, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't get hurt in that fight because I killed him from far away with a crossbow. And then right. when I showed up, there was just that really awesome flame, uh, that shotgun. Well, that's fair. Huh. Uh, that's that's a pretty good balance too. I think it really rewards players. All Which right, in turns, cool. although that is an interesting balance. So it basically makes the game easier for players that are really good. To me. Pull them closer to me. And then explode that. Just don't blow yourself up. I don't know how I hit it before and how I'm. Man, really? RNG, man. There you go. I have no. It's sort of a shame there. I, I, at least I don't think there are anything like grenades, right? Like, there are grenade launchers. <laughs> Come on, just, oh my god, I can't. Uh, just blow it up for me. No, no, I don't think, you're I don't kidding think you will. me, man. Because uh, what, uh, oh, he doesn't actually hit it. No. I thought that he no, did. No, enemies never. Oh, wait, maybe they used to. They used to. Ooh. I noticed this when you were on, in World, or Zone 3 last time, too, that their bullets just went through it. Ooh. I had to take the risk. Well, at least you didn't die. Did you take any damage from that? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, good. That's that's kind of a, a crappy situation to be in, though. Like, give me, I give, think give, that's, give me, give me, give me, give me. That's definitely a byproduct of, uh... Ooh. <gasps> this is really dangerous, but I want it anyway. Toxic launcher? So how does that work? Like this. Oh, so it's basically a, a grenade... Whoa! Yeah. Uh. Wait, okay, so, okay, it's like a grenade launcher, except, what, it sticks to them? It, it will stick to them. It's like a sticky grenade, then it blows up and leaves poison behind it. That's awesome. Yeah. Of course, that's probably the worst weapon for you to have, since you tend to pull enemies toward you. But, you know, still cool. Do you, do you get hurt by the toxin? Or just the explosion? Um, everything. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Um, more HP for med kits, homing bolts, more HP and ammo drops, energy weapons deal more damage. I'm thinking Rabbit Paw. We're are, going Rabbit Paw. Are there any mutations that ammo. increase the number of mutations you can select from? I don't know, but you know what? We missed out on that patient one, remember when we. Oh, we that's really right. don't know that what that does. That was when the game crashed. Man, that oh, sucks. Suck. Stop. Ah! Oh. 
You know, after playing a lot of Downwell, it's it's really interesting to see kind of what their choices are between the abilities that they allow players to choose from. Um, in Downwell, I feel like it was a little bit more narrow in terms of diversity. Um, and it, it, I understand why, too, because it's really hard to make a balanced set of diverse, like, abilities. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's part of what makes Nuclear Throne really stand out from the crowd, too. And that's probably why it, it took them a long time to really hit full release, right? Like, yeah. I think at a certain point they probably spent most of their time making new abilities and then balancing them and testing them to make sure they were worth it or not. So I'm trying to activate this right now. I don't know how much it needs. I think... The last guy that you killed, it sucked in all of them and you got two. Yeah, yeah so now so you need one more guy dead near it. Oh, Fortunately, is that... Is that yeah, oh, I, I cool. think that's only okay. one more. Boom, there you go. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Give me that, and then spawns goodbye. Spawns more. What? Shit. Do you have to break it again, do you think? Because now you can shoot it. You couldn't shoot it like, before, not until you broke it the first time. I'm afraid to like I'm gonna blow it up or something. I don't know, man. Maybe that's the whole point. Oh, he can shoot it too. That's interesting. Are these guys just like infinitely spawning now? They can be. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ooh. I guess I'm gonna. We're gonna find out. Uh, see, they're not generating rads anymore, so I have to like get this guy or like the the I IPD. They don't uh, generate rads, so I need to get oh. this motherfucker. Oh, that's come interesting. Here, come, here, come here, come here, telekinesis. So then, come rads can only way. be spawned by come the wasteland way. creatures. Come this way. Come I don't think way. I don't think he's gonna fit. I think the collision on those guys is is uh wider than you. Yeah, oh, there you go. sucks it up anyway. So he's still sucking them up. Oh, what if I do it? If I go this way and then come no. on. Ah, you're killing me, Smalls. Everybody oh, there you go. This way. Although it's possible that it's still sucking them up even if it doesn't need it. But if that is the case, though, that is a bit counterintuitive. I don't understand. Ugh. Okay. I don't know, man. Nothing's changing at this point from when it sucks it in. So it's not giving us any feedback on what's going on. I think you just break it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you were I kind of right wish well. that it stopped sucking in the rads, though, because that would be the best way to know for that for sure time. that it's it's time. Yeah. I uh, actually don't. Yeah, I had been here once before, as in like ooh, 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 it's time to get us a crown. What crown did I get? All right, these are my options. Ooh, so ooh, these okay. are all interesting. This is so. This is the coolest thing. This is obviously going to be our question of the day. <laughs> and you know what, we're leading to that anyway, so let's look at the crowns real quick, and then we'll ask you the question of the day. Yeah. Uh, so you get to pick one. A bear head is a fair head, right? Oh, do you think these are... Oh, man, no, these are what the unlockable things. Mm. Some, the, of uh, some of them, some of them, yeah. Them are, yeah, at least I think so, Crown based on life, what the no silhouettes HP look drops, like. HP drops, big HP chests are more common. Um, those give a lot more health, uh, but no, you don't these, get casual HP drops anymore. These totally are the things in the starting screen. I think you can unlock them so that you it, can pick them. You from can pick there them from on. the That's very beginning. Cool. So well, we obviously pick one, and we're gonna get that. Uh, crown of guns, no ammo drops, but more more weapon drops, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh, crown of haste, pickups uh, fade fast, are but are worth more. Ooh. And I've been missing a lot of pickups, so I'm not gonna choose that one. Crown of Destiny, free mutation, narrow future. I think what that means is oh. you get a free mutation now, but you get less options from here on to oh. choose your mutation. You only get two choices. That's a really good trade-off. I yeah. like that a lot. Uh, Crown of Curses, a lot more cursed chests, uh, <laughs> which are, I, I don't remember exactly. The weapons are bad, but at the same time, they're they're interesting. Uh, Crown of Risks, more drops when at full HP, less drops when not. So all of the crowns are a risk-reward thing. Every single one of them. That's Except why a bear head is a fair head. Oh, I see. Get it? <laughs> so, wow, um, that's really interesting. That takes me back to the days of Bastion, where you could like choose certain totems or whatever it was to make the game more difficult but beneficial. But that's a tangent <laughs> <laughs> um so here i picked that one that one ability where when you pick up uh the what you get more pickups on the field mm -hmm. so i'm gonna end up choosing crown of haste here because pickups are worth more when you do get them and since there are more of them technically that means that i'll get to pick up more even though i will be missing out on some more and it will even it, at worst case scenario it evens out. out yeah i think you you have the right ability to to make that worth it because yeah. it's a little bit easier for you to pick up so Thanks. uh i guess 
question of the day? Yeah, question of the day. Um, I don't know. What I mean, what about the crowns, really? Yeah, talk about, we had like, to go. We had to do a series of weird things to have the crown even like to even get to this point. Uh, and there can be enemies in that area, by mm-hmm. the way, and they're tough. Um, so it's like this is a risk reward switch in how your character can be played completely. And that being midway through the game, how do you? Not really midway, but like so far it's, into since the game. Since it's such an obscure thing to get, mm-hmm. it's it's not easy to find the crowns. Um, does it? Does that like? Are they worth the effort it takes to get them? Yes, yeah. is, is sort of the question. It's um. it's a completely different design element, and that's why it's so interesting because it's not better. It's just different. different. Yeah, no, and that's crazy. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, what are your opinions on that? I guess is ultimately like, how do you feel about that weird shift in uh, in the design element there, Ooh. and it being optional and tricky to get on top of that? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you everybody for watching, and uh, we'll be back with some more. So, more eyes, more eyes, eyes, eyes. Mm. Bye, everybody.